What is going on everybody? Welcome to my very next episode of We Fishing. My name is We, spelled with an H-U-Y, pronounced like H-W-E-E. -E. Today we are out hunting for big pike, so hopefully we'll be able to do that today. Currently at the moment, on the ice, there is nobody else on the ice except for me and my wife and one other that we're heading towards right now. And that one other is a special guest from stringtheoryangling.com. I'll put the link in the description below. Make sure to check it out. He's got some nice write-ups on kayak angling, some good ice fishing product reviews, tips and tricks. Make sure to check it out. Hope you don't mind, I'm gonna use your hole. This is a 10 inch? Yeah. Oh, geez. Line's a little bit coiled up, but uh, maybe I'll catch a big pike and I'll stretch it out. Hey, what kind of rod case is that? It's the... Eagle claw or? Bunk box. Bunk box. Oh, that's pretty sweet too. A flambeau here. Yeah, it's pretty good. You got them from the fishing hole? Or? Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So we got a special guest today, or I'm his special guest actually for today. We have String Theory Angling right here. Chris, say Hello hi, Chris. <laughs> yeah, today we're out targeting pike. Um, ginormous pike, hopefully. That's the... The whole idea. So hopefully we'll catch some big mamas. Are you gonna be setting that up or? Oh yeah. yeah. Up right away. Oh yeah. Six inch squirt bait. Oh yeah. Herring. How much does a pack like that cost? Uh, I think it was only six or eight dollars. It's not too bad. Yeah. I made some new quick strike rigs. Yeah. And circle hooks instead of trebles. What kind of line is it? Thirty pounds. Yeah. Liter. So, I'm hoping the circle hooks can do quite as much damage to them. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> but we'll find out. <laughs> and this, this is different. This is a sled actually on sleds, on like skis. Yeah. And you built that yourself, or? Uh, just yeah. This... And does it? Uh, Bought some used skis. Is it easier to pull that way? Oh, yeah, pull it. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah, you have to get, you have to get the full weight of <laughs> Hey, that's not bad. That, that pulls really nice. That's actually a really good idea. Where'd you get that, that idea from? Uh, online. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people talk about smitty sleds. Yeah. So I figured, well, this thing, this sled, I just hate pulling it, so I figured this is a good option. <laughs> Unfortunately, it seems like it's going to be a tougher bite, so we're going to have to use something with a little bit more sound. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this minnow head right here, and actually just thread it right through, just give it, give it a little bit of scent there. And I'm not. I'm gonna put it in the front, not the back. I don't want to put them back. Otherwise, I might, I might impede the action even more. So we're gonna keep that that minnow head right at the front here. And we're gonna do some rips, some big rips here. Just a. Oh, there we go. Now we got something here. I just changed to a loud rattle bait because. Uh, what I wasn't using wasn't making any sound. As soon as I changed to a rattle bait, I had something come in. Got one. There we go. Okay, I got it. A little hammer handle. There you go. Oh. Untangle him really quickly here. Get him back in the water. Got a little tangled in my line there. But it's alright. We got you. Get him out quick quickly here. Oh, he's batted out. Okay, so 
Nice little guy. Uh, quite tiny, not exactly what we're looking for, but we'll let him go. Hopefully he grows and we'll catch him next time. That did it. That's using the, uh, the live target rattle bait. Uh, like I said, guys, it's really nice to have a sonar, no matter what kind of sonar. It could be a hummingbird, it could be Markham, Vexilar. I've heard a lot of good things about Vexilar. I've, uh, I've used this Markham actually since 2012. Have the LX9 as well. And uh, it's been great to me. So if, you got, if it's within your budget, um, even a low budget uh, flasher, you're gonna catch a lot more fish. You're gonna know when they're there. You're gonna know when they're interested or not interested. And if they're not interested, you might be doing something wrong. Your action of, uh, of how you're jigging your rod or uh, maybe your presentation or your bait, it'll actually at least give you a hint that you should change it up, change your method, your pattern, your colors. So just keep that in mind. Next, I know that Christmas just passed, but next Christmas, put it on your wish list. Jump up! <laughs> there we go. Oh, I see him running. There we go. Oh, you just lost her, eh? Lost <laughs> oh, that's too bad. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, there we go. That looks, that's on. Oh. <laughs> Oh, saved it. <laughs> so far, just uh, some tiny guys in here, eh? This is my second time ever fishing out of a 10 inch hole. <laughs> it's quite nice actually. There we go. I lost him. I can never do the tail grab. <laughs> my favorite pritchel. Look at the, look at them. Uh, I got the same one, just a different color. Uh, all cookie cutter sized. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Definitely. All right, guys, we're going to say bye to Chris from String Theory Angling, and hopefully we'll see him again. <laughs> awesome, man. Thanks for coming out. <laughs> yeah, wow, it was a beautiful day. Didn't even set the tent up. You know, I do believe that there are big hogs in here got to be at the right place right time but have the right presentation that's all there is oh got one. Oh, you can you can definitely hear that rattle 
in this bait with uh, the head shakes of the, the, the pike here. Okay, seems like a pretty decent, decent one. Big head shakes. Oh, really nice one. Really nice one. Let's see if we can bring him up head through the hole here. There you go. Oh, I don't want to get hit by that treble here. Oh. Oh, look at this. Surprise catch. Look what I just got here. So I... Look at this. Oh, sorry, Pike. Okay. I'm actually just going to show the camera exactly what I just got here. So this guy has been caught recently. You actually look at him. Beautiful looking pike. However, he's got a little hook right in his upper lip right there. Right in that upper lip. With a... Uh, what looks like a floating jig. Really nice pike. This pike is going back. There we go. Now I'm gonna put you back. Nice and big healthy. Big and healthy guy. I'm just gonna wait till he kicks off. Nice and strong little guy. Just needs a quick moment just to restore his energy. He's getting ready to try and kick there. Give me a big kick. Not a very big kick, but it was a kick. Well, stuck my, my thumb in his mouth. Well guys, that is it for today. The sun's just setting. It's just past four o'clock. Can barely see the sun now. And uh, overall, it was a it was a great day. I mean, it was warm. I didn't have to wear my jacket. I didn't catch the biggest pike that I would would have wanted. A lot of small hammer handles, um, cookie cutter size. I got a couple that were over 30 inches, um, which is not too bad. That live target lure. I mean. It did great. Golden Shiner. First time I ever tried it, tried it and uh, just super impressed. Hopefully next time when I take you guys with me, we'll be able to catch something maybe around the 35 to 40 inch range. 40 inch would be nice. Once again, I just want to say thank you for watching my videos. Uh, I appreciate the support. If you like what you see, just hit the subscribe button. Ring the bell, maybe give a thumbs up. Leave a comment what you would like to see. Hopefully I'll be able to get out next time and maybe catch some big ones. I don't know what I'm gonna do next week. Maybe some bur burpits perhaps, or uh, maybe some browns, who knows? I'll see you guys next time. See you later.